Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about Valzod. And the reason why I want to talk about Valzod is because I know um, a few times where I've done Valzod, people were like, oh, you hate Valzod because he's a black Superman. No, I don't actually hate him. I just don't really care for the character at this moment for being a replacement for Superman. That's what I don't care about because um, when I was reading Earth 2, which is one of those Elseworld stories, he was fine to me. I thought he was a great um, character and he has he has such an interesting, unique, you know, trait about him um, that he's, he's a worthy successor um, for the mantle. But the reason why I want to talk about him because it's just like, hmm... With the whole nonsense that's been happening with Superman in general and the whole crap with um, John Kent, who would I choose to be Superman? And the answer would be Val Zod in a fucking heartbeat. If they had to, if DC had to do a replacement for Superman and I and I had no other, and I had a choice between John Kent or Val Zod, I'm taking Val Zod all the fucking way. Because I'm sick of John Kent, Superman. Um, and I don't like how he's been treated um, for all these years. I really don't. Uh, ever since Bendis aged him up, he has been a great character. But since we are talking about, hey, wouldn't it have been better if they had just brought in Val Zod? I'm going to go a little bit further with with that kind of concept and actually explain what I would do to make Valzod work. So, we're going to do we're going to do a Valzod, but he's he's going to be a little different sort of. He's still going to be the same Earth 2 one except for what's going to happen is okay, so so I don't know. Do you I answer this question in the comment section if you guys make it through the video ask me um would you want to just pull Val's eye from the defunct earth 2 or would you want a prime universe Val's eye because I'm going with prime universe Val's eye so I'm just going to you know kind of come up with my own Val's eye kind of little thing but I'm going to put a little twist in it of course of course you know we want we want Val Zod to come to Earth, right? But I'm going to do a little tweaking different thing with, with him. He's going to have that, um, that, uh, what was that? That aerophobia or something like that, or glorophobia, where he's basically afraid of, you know, outside and all that kind of kind of nonsense. But I'm going to tweak it a little bit to where not only that, he is the adoptive brother of Kal-El. But what happened? It what happened is, um, you know, with the whole Supergirl thing, you know, when um, Zod lost his family, and you know, Val Zod lost his his family early on, and Jor-El, you know, promised that he would take care of him, took him into the house of El. So Val Zod is a little bit it is is younger than Clark. He will be younger than um than than Clark in a sense. If that makes sense. Where um well basically, you know, his his mother he, he had his mother and his father had him, but he was just a little embryo kind of thing cuz you know how with the Kryptonian thing he wasn't he wasn't birthed naturally sort of he he was in a, a sort of womb or whatever. So Jorel, no one promised that he, that he would take care of the the Zod's um, child. You know, renamed him. So his name's not even going to be Val Zod. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it will be Val Zod, but sort of um, at at this point, he's going to be part of the House of L. So he'll be Val L instead of Val Zod, sort of. And what's going to happen is, um, you know. We know that Els build a, a rocket ship for both Supergirl, Kara Kent, I mean Kara Zor-El, and Clark Kent, Kal-El. 
So what we're gonna also have, we're gonna have a little a rocket ship also carrying the embryo, the um the little artificial womb for Valzad. Now, what's gonna happen is all three of these rockets are gonna get launched, uh, um right. And what's gonna happen is, what's gonna happen is, you know, the the planet blows up. All of all three of those babies are kind of are kind of safe off the planet. And of course, you know, Kal-El gets to Earth first, then Kara, Valzad gets there as well. Um, but what we're going to do is for Val Valzad, who is going to be probably he's going to have the crest of L. So Val L, it, we're going to tie him into Icon from the Milestone Universe. I know what you guys are thinking. What do you mean? Why are we tie him into Valzad um, to to that thing? Because what's going to happen is um, Augusta Freeman is already going to be on Earth already. And he's going to be established. What's going to happen is he notice he notices a rocket ship, thinking that is probably one of his people, right? But it lands in Dakota or the mouse. I mean, let, yeah, Dakota. It lands somewhere in Dakota or whatever. And he didn't want anybody to discover what was happening. And that's where he finds the pod that has Valzad, aka Val, um, Valel. You get what I'm saying? So he doesn't he he knows about the Kryptonian and um the Datsumite, but he he don't know that that you, you know he kind of think that that's probably um a shape he, um cuz cuz you know his alien race they kind of shape shift so he might think that it might be his family lineage or whatever so he takes the ship and the baby and you know kind of studies it and you know kind of actually you know raise Val L as his own so he he want he his even though his name is Valzad, even though his adoptive name is also his adoptive Kryptonian name is Valel, he will now be known as Augusta Freeman the the fifth, I believe, and he will be the new son of Augusta Freeman and his wife that he has at the time, which will lead into Icon, which I mean which will lead into Rocky meeting him as well. I mean, um, Rocket meeting him and him finally revealing um, himself to the world, knowing he has the, he has this son now that he has to kind of protect as well, because, you know, Valzad still be a little bit younger or whatever, but he'll be a little bit older. He'll be older, older enough. Like he'll be close to like um, a, a 15, 12 year old. So you can kind of have him join the Teen Titans later on or whatever. So he'll be close to Rocket's age, but Rocket will still be older than him that way we can kind of figure like he was like i know um i saw this crest you know from the hero superman and stuff like that maybe you might be connected to him but you know val never i mean augusta never kind of wanted to tell him because he didn't want anything to happen because he didn't know how people would react to having a superman like being that is supposed to be part of the house of l kept away from you know his brother or something like that because you know he'll he'll figure out the kryptonian see you know um little you know the little crystal that they have and realize that hey Jarrell sent him and he's supposed to be protected by you know Kara Kara Zorel and you know Clark I mean Kalel but you know things happen so the reason why I'm saying this is because I wanted to kind of tie a thematic thing to icon icon and superman so that way you kind of have something that's connected where you have superman's you know adoptive little brother being the son of icon one of dakota's most powerful beings or whatever so you kind of have it where he can kind of be the the linchpin in both worlds sort of kind of thing i know it kind of sounds weird i know it kind of sounds like i'm rambling or whatever the reason why i'm saying this is because if we're going to have to pick a superman i mean if i had to pick a superman since they're going to get rid of Clark Kent for a reason, I would use Valzad, but I'm not saying that he needs to replace Superman. But what I'm saying is he can be a good addition to the Superman family. And I'm thinking putting, bringing him into main continuity, but change his, tweak his origins just a tad bit around where he's still, he's still Valzad and well, AKA val -El, but he's also um, a, a Superman family member, but he's also the son of Icon, you know, one of the world's, you know, biggest heroes, 
you know, from Dakota at the time. So, I mean, it's just something like that to kind of tie in the milestone in the Superman lore. Since they want to reboot the icon thing anyway, why not add that to it? So that way you'd be like, oh my God, we're teasing Superman that eventually Superman, Kara, Connor Kent, um, John Kent, eventually these characters are going to have to meet eventually because they are in the same universe i don't know if the new one is not but let's just let's just say it is let's just say it is because if you guys know with the new icon and rocket book book when they rebooted they had the, um the little shapeshifter white guy um, white alien hunter who a rocket had um you know landed in kansas or whatever and they killed the baby that was inside of the of the rocket but let's instead of doing that let's let's have the rocket uh, arrive and let's have it let's have the rocket arrive but also have it where the um icon was able to save the baby and the baby become um is valel and he become he you know he raised him as his son i'm i know it's kind of sound weird i know it kind of sounds like i'm not making any kind of sense i uh, again i don't hate the character the character was sufficient enough for me in um earth 2 but what i'm saying is that since they wanted to replace Superman. Why did they not just bring in Valzar? Is the question. You know, you push, you push all of that on people, and yet you you chose not to do the smartest idea, which would have brought um, would which would have made more sense to do Valzar more so than it would have made sense to do John Kent. And then the John Kent that you brought in is a complete disgrace of himself. So why not bring in Val L? So I mean, I mean Valzar. So if you do need to bring in a character i mean a superman replacement not that i want it to happen but if you did have to the most obvious choice should have been val zod it would have made more logical sense if you're not if especially since you're not going to do anything with connor kent which is sad because that's another character that could have been superman if you really needed to but again they're not going to do that so since they're not going to do connor kent and since they're they're hell-bent on putting Clark Kent up in the up in the war war you might as well just go ahead and bring in Val Zod because let's be honest President Superman is a hell no in a body bag for me no I'm not I, I no I'm sorry I don't I don't find President Superman interesting enough but Val Zod you can build on that character and he doesn't he can be he can he can still have the house of L but you can call him something different it's kind of like mon um back in the day when mon kind of um took over superman's um role but it wasn't called superman he was called mon -El, you know what i'm saying um or valard depending on how you want to how you want to do it or whatever he had he had the crest of superman right there on his chest but he wasn't superman and people didn't call him superman so it'll be like hey you can have valzod come and you can have him called valzod or valel or icon something or something super icon or icon icon boy or, or or something like that you know something that that doesn't take those the the place of him being superman but still he has the logo of superman on his you know on his suit and his costume that's what i'm saying that's how you kind that's that i'm trying to retool this character where is kind of paying homage to both icon and superman while respecting the fact that hey here's this here's a character that has potential and if you're going to have to like i said guys if you're going to have to do a main superman that has to replace clark kent i'd rather it be val zod over bisexual superboy but that's neither here nor there i'm just saying how i will try to retool the character to bring him into the main continuity of dc but make him different from his earth 2 counterpart if that makes sense you know what i'm saying guys i'm just trying to you know <laughs> make it work because i know how some people was like oh you well you said something about the val zod series or whatever yeah because i want i want to see my boy henry cavill as superman as for as long as he as long as he as long as he can so why would i want to see a val zod show when we can't even get a good superman show now if we're talking about comic books you know sure i wouldn't mind seeing val zod but that's what I'm saying. Let's retool him and try to make him work into the main continuity if you're going to have to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because if you guys were make, if you guys made Power Girl work, you can make you can make this guy work. That's all I'm saying. You know. 
And then, oh, you know what would be kind of cool? Then he can be in a relationship with Power Girl. Um, because we already know from alternate Power Girls, she um, she and Val Zod has like a little lovers thing going on. If and if you don't want to do that, you can always put him with um, Tanya Spears, aka Power Girl Two, aka Powerhouse. That would be something. That would be something really interesting too to see um, if you really want to do something different with the character. Um, but I don't know. I'm just spitballing the idea here. I know some people will be like, oh, we don't need to replace. Look, shut up, guys. Shut up, guys. Because we already know that they're going to do it whether we like it or not because the rights are are are, are in a shit can hole right now. And <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what Ethan's been saying. That's what a lot of people have been saying. And I'm just saying, like, if they're going to bring in a black Superman or if they're going to bring in a Superman in general that doesn't really make any logical sense... Let's actually retool the character and make it where we can make at least make him likable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tolerable. Where he's not he's not here just for a political reasoning. He's here because there's a story behind it and we're trying to tell a good story. Well, see, this is why I'm not in charge of these comic books because clearly nobody really cares about story anymore. Everybody's looking at everything on a surf superficial level or whatever. And don't get me wrong, um I know how I've been really harsh on the all new, all different, diverse characters, but the new diverse characters just don't make no damn logical sense. While you have some diverse characters that did come out in the brand new era that are being tossed in with these forced diversity pools because you got two characters that are from alternate earths that actually can work if you really put them if you really take the time and tell good stories with them but instead you you turn you when you were telling good stories they were fine but as soon as you start getting diverse and inclusive happy that's when the the writing for those characters fell by the wayside to be like, oh look, it's a black Superman or it's a black Spider Man or it's a it's a um it's a gay this or it's a lesbian this and it's just aggravating at this point. But I'm just saying, I just wanted to try to make a video where I'm just retooling the character, see how you guys feel about what the hell was that? Oh man, I think it was something. I hope I didn't hit. I hope it didn't hit that. But anyway. I just wanted to um, retool a character, uh, to the, the character that I think that has potential. Again, I don't want to see him on the big screen. <laughs> um, I don't want to see him in anything other than comic books right now because he hasn't earned that spot yet. And I feel like until I get a proper Superman movie, then um, with Henry Cavill in there, Sure, but until then, no, I'm not trying to see a Valzad um, show, even if it is with Michael B. Jordan in there. I mean, because why? Why? Why can't you give me a Henry Cavill Superman show instead uh, with H from HBO Max? You know what I'm saying? Like, give me that first. That's what I want to see. Don't don't replace Clark Kent. You need to first. You need to fully establish Clark Kent first before you even try to do something different. But since Clark Kent is in, in the comic books is already established, bam, here you go with Val Zod, and then it's kind of cool because you can kind of have a a little brother for Superman that is kind of like sort of like an adoptive kind of thing too. So you kind of have that whole connection of family that's not blood, just kind of like how Ma and Pa Kent took him in. You get what I'm saying? So it all will ties into family. And then on top of that, that he is now the adoptive son of icon Augusta Freeman, who went through a lot of stuff as well. So you kind of can tie, you kind of tie this into a makeshift kind of family thing with two of the most powerful beings on earth, having sharing, sharing a family member together, a little brother and an adoptive son. You get what I'm saying? I, I, I know it's, I know it's kind of crazy, but why not? You know? But yeah, those are my thoughts. So much you guys think comments below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.